This is the fixed flow for Aura 600, where I'll explain to you what an Aura 600 error is, why it occurs, and take you step by step through everything you need to do to resolve it. So let's get started. An Aura 600 is a generic internal error. It indicates that a process has encountered a low level unexpected condition. This can typically mean that you've encountered a bug. The impact can vary from just being an annoyance that shows up in your logs once in a while to something major that brings the database down. When the error is logged, it includes a list of arguments in square brackets. The first argument can be useful to narrow down to known asserts, as it indicates the function logging the error. However, beware, if this is a commonly used function, there may be multiple different possible causes. The remaining arguments show the values for internal variables, which are useful in debugging. When an ORA 600 is encountered, it is reported in the database instance alert log. This entry has a pointer to a trace file which contains more detailed call stack information which can be used to identify the problem. Depending on the cause of the ORA 600, it may be necessary to look at other information to isolate the exact cause. This can include understanding database and operating system configuration. The basic fixed flow steps for an ORA 600 are 1. Use the Oracle Autonomous Health Framework to capture an ORA 600 diagnostic collection. 2. Use the ORA 600 troubleshooting tool to find recommendations. 3. If required, log a new service request with Oracle support using the diagnostic collection you just captured. So now let's look at how you use the Autonomous Health Framework to generate an ORA 600 diagnostic collection. The Autonomous Health Framework, or AHF, provides a series of capabilities aimed at making it easier for you to maintain your database. AHF is the same technology that Oracle uses in the Oracle Cloud to keep the autonomous database running, and AHF is available for you at no extra cost as part of your existing software support agreement. You can download AHF by logging into My Oracle Support and searching for AHF, or you can just go to the bit.ly link that's shown on your screen, bit.ly slash Oracle AHF, which will take you directly to the download page. The AHF capability we're using in this demonstration is the Diagnostic Data Collection. AHF is capable of collecting many different types of diagnostic collections, with problem-specific service request diagnostic collections being one of them. Before AHF, Oracle Support would ask you to go through 11 different steps as part of service request data collection for an ORA 600. This would involve collecting and trimming different logs and running scripts, and to understand how to perform it correctly required watching a video and reading other knowledge documents. Now, all of this service request diagnostic collection logic is packaged within AHF, and you can capture everything required to diagnose and resolve your ORA 600 problem with a single simple command. So you log into the machine where the ORA 600 occurred, and as the Oracle user run the command tfactl diag collect srdc ORA 600. You'll be prompted to enter the date and time of the ORA 600 you're interested in, and if, if you're not sure, just press return. The same with the database name. AHF will then check to find all the ORA 600s that occurred on that database around the time you selected, or if you've left the prompts blank, it will just find the most recent ones. It will then show you a list of everything it found and ask you to choose the specific ORA 600 you're interested in. In our case, we're interested in number one, so we select that. Once you've selected the entry, AHF does its thing. AHF will collect, will collect all of the relevant diagnostic information, trim the logs, so that it only captures information from around the time you specified. It then packages all of that into a zip file, as you can see on the screen. We now move on to step number two. Use the My Oracle Support ORA 600 troubleshooting tool to find recommendation. So you log into My Oracle Support and search for ORA 600. Alternatively, just go to the bit.ly link shown on the screen. Just take note that the ORA in that short link are all in uppercase. When you get to the troubleshooting tool, Click the next button on the top right. Take the recommended approach and select the AHF or TFA package radio button. Then press the choose file button and upload it. Once the file is uploaded, you press the next button again. The troubleshooting tool will then analyze the contents of the diagnostic collection, comparing the log entries against its list of known problems. It will then recommend a My Oracle support knowledge document for you that it thinks is the best fit. For the one, this one, for example, confirms the ORA 600 we encountered has occurred in at least one reported bug. If you go through the, the My Oracle Support troubleshooting tool and can't find a solution, or you just need some more help, Oracle Support is only a click away. Press the Create SR button at the bottom. You'll be asked to clarify your database version, support identify, operating system, 
and the severity of the problem. Once you've done that, you click Create SR and you'll get a new SR number. That's it. The IHF diagnostic collection you uploaded originally will be routed onto your service request and Oracle support will take over. So if you haven't already, download IHF today. So log into My Oracle Support and search for IHF or just go to the bit.ly link shown on the screen, bit.ly slash Oracle IHF. So thank you. I hope this has shown you how the Autonomous Health Framework can help you resolve an ORA 600 error and that you have a better understanding of IHF and its capabilities.